morning everybody and welcome back. I've been on the road for a while now. It's time to head back up to the tent. Melissa has a work meeting today down in Duluth at one o'clock. Not sure how long that's gonna take. After that we're gonna meet and get some lunch and uh, go back to the fifth wheel and load her stuff up and then we'll head to the tent. So we're not really gonna get there until I don't know if it'll be three o'clock or five o'clock or what time it'll be, but at least we'll get up there tonight. Well, Melissa is done with work. We stopped off at a place called Grizzlies in Hermantown and had lunch, a late lunch, and uh, perfectly cooked steak. You couldn't even get through it all. It was so salty. I couldn't believe it. Finally, the steak was done right and it tasted horrible. So that's Melissa's new uh, company vehicle. I just picked her up that yesterday. We're gonna go to the fifth wheel here, grab her stuff, and finally head north. Melissa's birthday today and she wanted a new bike so I picked her up that's the kind she wanted just getting the last couple things in the truck and we have a couple hours till we're at the tent I'm just bringing everything into the tent. Melissa got a little almost car sick on the way up here. It's really bumpy the last 20 some miles or so and then last time it didn't uh, sit well with her either so she's taking it easy. I did get a coffee maker up here so I don't have to always do it on the percolator. I'm gonna run a just a, a one run through there to clean that right now and then I'll try to make a batch of coffee. The bugs are horrible right now. You've got all the gnats are out right now. I can't imagine how the mosquitoes are gonna be about dusk. <laughs> I'll ride the bike back. Well, I got the antenna set up, but now I'll run the line just in, just through the room. I don't, I'm not sure if the TV that's in the main tent area will even take uh, digital TV. I'm not sure. That's an older, it might. I know the one in the bedroom will, so I think I'm going to run it into that one first and just see if it can scan for any channels. It's not looking good. We're 54% done and nothing. I might have to move the antenna. Later on, I'll probably play around with moving the antenna and trying to do another search and just see if it picks up anything. But I mean, I'm almost 100 miles away from anything. And uh, as the crow flies, I think I come up with 85 or 90 miles looking at a map, so that's just a long ways. There's a lot of trees. I'm way up above sea level uh, compared to where the towers would be, but still with all those trees, it's just uh, might be impossible. That 
was going to be it. Oh, just the chair. <laughs> <laughs> The weeds are coming in fast this year. Such a cold spring, and then it got warm so fast. Remember, she really liked it here last time, and uh, way more than the house. We had such a late lunch today, Melissa wasn't hungry at all, but I'm just going to cook up one of them frozen hamburgers I brought up just for a little bit of a snack. This time up we brought uh, shrimp that we bought down in Louisiana before we came up here. Just uh, They were just fresh gulf shrimp and we froze them. And then we bought a whole bunch of already boiled uh, crawfish and we brought those up. So tomorrow's lunch should be pretty delicious. It's kind of nice that it's cooled down a little bit and the breeze has stayed up because the uh, mosquitoes are kind of staying away. It's because of pride for your hometown. London's one of the most culturally significant cities in the world. Okay everyone, well it's about 10.30. Melissa and I are just about to go to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. It's about a quarter after five right now. Looks like it's cloudy out there and there's a little bit of a wind coming off the lake. I just came out here to see how it feels and it's 55 degrees. My uh, thermometer says and it's lightly raining out here. So I just put on a Johnson minnow here. It's got the color of a daredevil, the red and white. I just got a hit on a northern when I was bringing it in to come up right to the boat. There we go. 
Oh, I had one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Not a very big one, but there we go. <laughs> Well, it's raining pretty good out now. I did catch one more. It was, uh, I don't know, maybe like one and a half times the size of that last one. Another pound and he'd have been a good eater. But uh, I think I'll head back to the tent. All this rain is supposed to blow over by about 11 o'clock. Hopefully it'll be a nice day. Is still in there sleeping. She was up earlier, maybe around six o'clock for a little bit. She woke up for a little while and she fell back to sleep. I repositioned that antenna last night, but obviously it did not help. He is. He, he's got that perfect face for that too. The corn is still frozen so I'm going to boil that first and then cut it up. How much water should I add with that? Joe hates project. this part. Yeah, I don't get at it. Thank you. Thank you. I'll outline our program over the next three months. This is all shrimp that we bought down in Louisiana, froze it and brought it back up here. Yeah. That much? Is that too much? That's good. That's good for me. So how much of this now do you think? I would put a pretty good bit. I don't have a pour section. I am on the pour section. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's that? <laughs> what did you say? I said, do you need my help? Or was peeling the shrimp the worst you're going to do to me today? Yeah, that's it. Butter, it won't burn on that one. that on there for about I don't know 15 or 20 minutes and it should be good to go do you think I put them in now or do I wait till it's steaming I would wait until it starts boiling okay no, not the expense of you making it for like 20 years. Alright, you should fire things. Alright. The last shot's good. Damn me. Too late. I think it's done. You want to check it? Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. Well, that was a good lunch. Uh, I'm gonna run out in the boat here and see if anything is biting. She's not gonna run out yet. It's only, I think, 56 degrees and it's still windy. It's yucky and they, it's still kind of misting a little bit. And they say that we're still supposed to get some more rain today.
around here for almost an hour now and I haven't even got one hit so I think I'll head back to the tent and see what Melissa is doing. A lot cuter inside of a fish's mouth. Well, Melissa's in there doing dishes right now. We're heading home tomorrow morning, so we're starting to get stuff cleaned up. I'm going to pull the grill out here. I'm going to cook up those two ribeyes that I brought up here. Probably throw on a couple of baked potatoes. We were going to go out fishing again tonight, but earlier we're sitting here and in a canoe a guy comes up pulls up right next to the dock there and comes out and it's a DNR officer. Uh, for you guys down south it's the same as like wildlife and fisheries. He was out on the lake somewhere. I didn't see him when I was buzzing around anyway. He saw that I was out on the lake and he comes up here and he checked our fishing licenses and uh, you know both me and Melissa have our license. But with my boat, that boat that I have up here originally I did it for duck hunting and I don't have the registration numbers on there. I've never even thought twice about, I never even thought about it. All my other boats I pay for to get them, uh, the ones in Louisiana, I pay for them and get the new sticker every two years. I never once thought about it with this boat. So now he's going to send me a ticket in the mail for having an unregistered boat here and I'm going to have to go get it registered. And for me, I'm always dead set on doing everything legal. I always have my license that I need everything so it's my fault it, sh it should have been it should have been done but uh, I mean there's you know 11,842 I think lakes in Minnesota and on this lake right here I've been coming up to this lake since 1980 and combined for all those years together I've probably only seen a hundred people on this lake winter and summer for the whole entire time and he has to come over here and <laughs> I'm the only person that's here on this lake, you know, I mean, didn't he have other places that he could have went that would have been better? So anyway, I'm more mad at myself than anything, but one thing that he did say is don't take your boat back out until you have it registered. So her and I can't go out fishing tonight in the boat. It is still supposed to rain tonight, so I'm going to get that barbecue going right now. I still have to unload some stuff out of my truck that I brought up here. I brought up a whole bunch of the water containers. I'll get that done, and like I said, we'll be cleaning stuff up, and tomorrow we'll head home. I'm so glad that Melissa doesn't let me do dishes. She said I don't clean them clean enough, and that's fine with me. She likes to do that. Huh. I think I've had the tent up here, what, eight years, nine years or whatever, and I'm always going to buy a grill uh, grate cleaner and I always forget and I finally remember. up the yard a little bit.
Somebody asked the question, how is the Max tree doing? This is the tree that I kept after Max passed away. And uh, it got damaged when we pulled out the old dock, but uh, it's doing good. Melissa and I are just in there watching the movie 2012 and chatting. I uh, picked up a few things. I have a few more things to pick up tonight. Most of the cleanup inside will be done tomorrow. We'll probably get out of here, I don't know, around 10 o'clock or so. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, everyone, well, that's just about everything here. It's all cleaned up and vacuumed. Waiting the next trip up. You ready to go home, little girl? Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys on the next video.